How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about how to grow taller for 13 year olds. So before we begin, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section and I will get back to you guys with more details. So height is a polygenetic trait, meaning that it is influenced by a range of genes. If there are tall people in your family tree, chances are the tall gene could be passed on to you. Just because your parents are short or of average height does not mean that you will be short. If you have even a great grandma or a great uncle that was 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", you have the opportunity to be a similar height. And I get this all the time. People ask, my parents are 5'4", I'm 5'5", how tall can I be? Well, my parents were exactly the same as that, you guys, and I'm around 5'9", so I'm four inches taller than them. So, I mean, if your parents are 5'8", 5'9", there's potential that you could even be 6'3", 6'4". Um, just because your parents are short does not mean that you are short. This is science-based. This is not me making random stuff up. If you guys study biology, if you study anything related to cells, you will understand that that gene can be passed down to you and it doesn't have to be from your parents. So just understand that if you're not tall, you're 12, you're 13, you're looking to become taller, your parents are short, do not take that into account at all. Do not stress, do not worry about that because I guarantee you for most people, majority of people, like 90% of the people that I talk to, they're taller than their parents, as simple as that. So don't be worried, don't be scared, follow my advice till the end of the video, you guys are gonna see results. So I'm going to give you guys some tips that's going to help you guys increase your height. So the first tip is going to be sleep. I cannot stress this enough, you guys. Our brains release human growth hormone when we are sleeping. So if you're not getting enough sleep, uh, this will result in a low amount of human growth hormone being released, which will result in you not hitting your height goal. And I see this all the time with teenagers, you guys, people 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. What do you typically do when you're a teenager on the weekend? I know me for a fact, before I started lifting weights, I was staying up two, three in the morning, you guys. I was playing video games, I was eating chips, drinking Coca-Cola, I was having a blast, you guys, but... My sleeping wasn't the best. Sleep is important. Uh, the amount of sleep that you need for a teenager growing up is gonna be anywhere from seven to eight hours of sleep. Uh, could be even longer, but uh, you need at least seven hours of quality sleep, you guys. Can't get away with five hours, can't get, get away with six hours as a teenager. For an adult, you can get away with a little bit less. I personally run on six hours of sleep during the week. On the weekends, if uh, I'm not super, super busy, I'll try to get seven hours of sleep, but generally six hours of sleep for me, I run perfectly fine. I have tried five hours before, it's tough, you guys, it's very tough. Need be, I will go five hours if I need to get something done, something on YouTube, something for my clients, then I'll try for five hours, but generally six hours. Okay, second tip is gonna be stay hydrated. Water improves digestion and increases your metabolism. This will have a direct impact on your height. You need at least eight glasses of water a day for optimal health. So again, our bodies are made up of 60 to 70% of our bodies are made up of water. So water is us, you guys, we are water. If you're not getting enough water, you are slowing down your growing potential. Trust me on this. Third tip is going to be eat healthy. Avoid processed foods, sugary drinks, such as Coca-Cola, and avoid junk food. Instead, eat lean meats, fibrous vegetables, complex carbohydrate fruits, and healthy fats, you guys. Make sure you are getting enough vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, calcium, iron, zinc, and magnesium. Make sure your sodium and potassium ratio is in line, also known as your electrolyte balance. You should have around 1,500 to 24 milligrams of sodium per day. If you have high blood pressure, go for 1,500 milligrams. If your blood pressure is completely fine, you can afford 2,300 milligrams, 2,400 milligrams. The amount of potassium that you need per day, you guys, is going to be 4,500 milligrams. Now, it has been proven in studies that the average American gets around 3,500 milligrams of sodium per day. So they're going 
over a thousand milligrams of sodium per day on their sodium intake which is very bad you guys you don't want to be high sodium it's going to cause lots of problems especially high blood pressure you guys actually there has been some studies being done that shows salt and blood pressure may not be a correlation but uh the studies still are a little bit mixed so we'll just say that for the time being but the potassium again americans Canadian do not get enough potassium that's a guarantee most people not even close to their potassium for the day what's high in potassium yams bananas milk meat fish all high in potassium you guys fish you got to watch out for you can't eat too much fish per day so fourth tip is going to be exercise make sure you are exercising daily and breaking a sweat for at least 30 minutes to one hour some great ways of doing this are playing sports that require you to be active such as basketball squash tennis soccer all those sports fantastic jogging swimming biking and running are also other great exercises you can also follow a resistance training program to build muscle resistance training will not affect your height trust me on this this has been proving resistance training will not stunt your growth that is a hundred percent complete myth it has been proven no correlation between lifting weights and height none whatsoever swimming can also help to elongate your muscles because every time you swim you are technically stretching the muscle you guys now there's no proven studies to actually prove this but it seems pretty cool and hey if you want to swim there's nothing wrong with swimming if you're under the belief it will help you guys with height so take that one with a grain of salt and fifth tip is going to be good posture make sure your posture is good if you have poor posture your height can be affected by at least two to three inches maybe even more if you have naturally rounded shoulders you can perform upper back exercises that involve retracting the scapula you guys so your scapula is your upper back so this will allow you to go back to back uh to the form it once was so band pull aparts with a pronated scapula are one of the best exercises you can perform to get better posture so how to do band pull aparts you need a resistance band now what you're going to do is pronate your shoulders so we're in a neutral position right now with our shoulders this is retracted scapula so when you're bench pressing you want to have retracted scapula you see what happens to my back when i retract that's retracted that's neutral this is pronated so pronated that's pronated you guys that's neutral that's retracted so retracted neutral pronated you want to pronate your shoulders and then pull apart on the band and you can see when i do this what muscles working my rear delts you guys you can see my rear delts working when i perform this but here's the thing if you don't do them pronated you do them retracted you're going to hit your rhomboids you don't want to hit your rhomboids you want to hit your rear delts here's the thing you guys people laugh at the posture but what happens with your posture this happened to my brother believe it or not he needed surgery for his back for his posture he was walking around like this he had a herniated disc i believe or a bulge he was walking around like this hunched over what happened when his posture was better he got surgery boom instantly taller guess what you guys if your shoulders are rounded just watch what happens look at my height that look like I have not moved my head. All I've done, all I've done is looked at my shoulders. Watch shoulders. Look at my head. I'm gaining two inches, losing two inches, gaining two inches, losing two inches. I'm not moving my head at all. I'm simply retracting or simply pronating and retracting my scapula. Watch again, retract or sorry, pronate, retract, pronate, retract you can see my head um so if you guys have horrible posture which a lot of teenagers do have simply because playing video you game video games i was exactly the same way so i'm not getting mad at you guys i'm just saying i was playing video games i'd be on the couch i'd be like this i'd be hunched over posture wasn't the best you guys so a lot of people too they like to argue with me about the exercising the the eating correctly the sleeping properly for bodybuilding, that's what I specialize in, you guys. I specialize in building muscle, losing fat, strength training, powerlifting. I've done four years of bodybuilding, four years of powerlifting. I've competed in powerlifting. I'm not trying to be arrogant, not trying to brag, but my expertise, you guys, is building muscle. And I can tell you right now, if you do not exercise, you do not hydrate yourself, you do not sleep, and if you do not follow all of those tips, you do not build muscle. 
when you're trying when you're going through puberty the key is to build muscle pretend you're a tree if you're a tree what do you need to grow you need water you guys you need water to grow water is your food and then you sleep and then you slowly get taller and taller and taller if you want to get taller as a person and increase your height you got to you got to eat right you got to exercise and you got to sleep all of those things is going to help you guys enhance your potential if you're not eating right you're not sleeping right your body doesn't have the proper nutrients to grow taller and what's going to happen if your potential your max potential if you did everything correctly is 62 and you don't eat properly you don't do this puberty goes along 5 6 years 7 years guess what happens you may only be 510 58 59 Five, seven. It all depends on what you do. I know for me, you guys, my parents were not very tall. Trust me on this. They were not tall. My brother and me, both 5'9", five, 5'10", five, you guys, because we ate properly. We ate a ton. My brother had very good genetics going through puberty. So, um, end of video, you guys. Hopefully, I did shed some insight to you guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel again if you haven't already. Like the video, share it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate all the support you subscribers give me and have a great day everyone.